Hi and a big welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're making a shortbread biscuit or cookie depending on what side of the Atlantic you live. Now I did a recent video showing the difference between a sugar cookie and a shortbread um, and today we're going to make that shortbread. It's delicious, it should melt in your mouth and it's very simple. Let me show you how. <music> So making shortbread is as easy as one, two, three. That's one part sugar, two parts butter, three parts flour. That's 50 grams or two ounces of a super fine or caster sugar. You can pretty much use any sugar you like. That's 100 grams or four ounces of butter. And it does have to be by weight rather than measurement. 150 grams or six ounces of flour. Now I'm using a mixture, I'm putting a third of rice flour or corn flour in there. And the reason we do that is because shortbread, like short crust pastry, is a very crumbly, uh, melt in the mouth texture to it. And uh, I can enhance that by mixing in some corn flour or rice flour. So I'm actually going to go for a third of corn flour in here to get that lovely melt in the mouth texture. So I'm going to start by putting my butter into a bowl and it should be soft butter, room temperature. And I'm also using salted butter. If you want to use a non-salted butter, you might want to add a little pinch of salt into this. And then I'm going to add my sugar in with the butter. And using a spoon, I'm just going to cream these two together until our butter and sugar is beautifully creamed together like that. So now into that butter, we can add our two flours. As I say, you can use a mixture or you can just use all purpose. But I've got 150 grams, that's six ounces of flour. And I start to work that together with my spoon. And when it's crumbing together like that, we're just going to get our hands in there and draw this dough together. And when it pulls together like that, you've got this beautiful, light, buttery pastry. I'm just going to lightly flour the surface of my worktop. I'll sprinkle a little flour on top as well. And I'm just going to use a rolling pin. Now I'm going to go for a round shortbread. You could cut this into fingers pretty much do whatever you want with the shape. So we just continue to work that into a circle about the size of a, a dessert plate. Then I'm going to lift that up very gently and place it down onto some baking paper. I can just ease it back together if you get any little cracks in there. And then it's a tradition just to score the surface into eight. So I'm just using a knife to not go all the way through but just gently mark the surface of the cookie. And I'm also just going to crimp a couple of little crimps on the edge of each of these cookies. And then we're just going to make a little fork pattern also on the surface of the cookie. Then we're going to take this cookie and we're just going to chill it for 15 minutes or so in the fridge. I'm preheating my oven to 150 degrees Celsius, that's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to cook these for about 20 to 25 minutes. And just keep an eye on them, we don't want them to go too dark. Now there is my shortbread out of the oven and it's a beautiful sandy colour. Now whilst it's still hot, I'm going to sprinkle some caster sugar or super fine sugar over the top for its effect and then I'm going to let it cool down completely. Now there's that shortbread all cut up. It absolutely smells delicious. It's soft, it's crumbly, it's very light. So let me try this wonderful, wonderful shortbread now. Mmm. There is something absolutely delicious. I can see why this is such a favorite at Christmas time. The buttery soft, it almost melts on your tongue. This is fantastic. I'm gonna be making sugar cookies as well soon, so uh, look out for that video. But in the meantime, give this shortbread a try. Please share the love, give this a thumbs up. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I can see I'm not going to be able to resist eating another slice of this shortbread. It is absolutely fantastic. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll leave a couple of links here to some other videos. See you next time. Take care.